All right, uh, what is it I'm supposed to be doing with it today? Uh, oh yeah, we're hanging out with someone. Of course, what else would I be doing, am I right? <laughs> hey there guys, Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to an episode of Persona 5 Royal. Last time we hung out with people, wow. I got my sights set on you and I'm sitting over my calling card. Calling card for what? Oh, got you interested, huh? Well, if that's the case, you ought to see our new product. We'll buy your stuff. Don't be so full of yourself, kid. I'm no phantom thief, but I can make you beg for forgiveness, too. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, look, it's our favorite, uh, 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 uh crossdressers? Is that the term? I'm just gonna move on from that. You just give it up. The end of a catchy, the era of a catchy coon is over. Oh, shut up, you. Chunky, hunky cake of beef. Just you watch. I'll reveal the Phantom Thieves as the monsters they really are. What are you talking about? When you get angry, you're more of a monster than they are. All right, and I see they're in hot debate over a catchy and a Phantom Thieves. Anyways, hi, Chihaya. Want to hang out today? I tried numerous times, but the Empress car keeps appearing. Last time I felt that you were having trouble with women, but now I sense something different now. Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's do a verification test. We haven't done it in a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have latch assist. We can hey, we can get stronger bond related. Yeah, whatever. Just hit, let's hang out. <sighs> Sato-san, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? What, do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. How can I be one of those people, Sato-san? Uh, yeah, trust in yourself. That's step one. What? Trust in myself instead of my fortune telling? Never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Sato-san. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Tell me more. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you the volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But, now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to conf confront fate head-on with my own strength. Although the chairman would really be mad if he found out. I'm sorry, chairman? Oh, uh oh, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but per perhaps this time... I mean, it all depends on you. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least until I can manage uh, until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. All right, we ranked up. That's right. it. <laughs> well then. Thank you for today, Santo-san. 
Good night. Oh, my phone's vibrating. Hello. Um, I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. But I didn't do that much. Oh, nonsense. That couldn't be further from the truth. Talking to you helped me realize what I should be really what I should really be doing. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Sato-san, I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on. Even though I can't imagine changing my own fate, but I will figure out figure out <laughs> but I will figure out some some way to make it happen. Hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Oh, I can read! Hooray! I can finish the Master Swordsman and get my guts. Get my points to the guts so I can ignore guts for the rest of the game. Oh. oh, is that it? Did we max it out? No. <laughs> I was hoping! Good morning to you. Hmm. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute. Uh, it's refreshing to make the work commute at a different time every now and then. Did you oversleep? Well, of course not. I woke up on time, although I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. I was offering to help carry their things, but then my back made this sound that it shouldn't make. I know. Well, anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshi Sawazan? <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Makes me feel like I'm doing uh, feel like doing my best too. Of course, I say as I say that I am running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then. So let's do our best for today, shall we? Um. I mean, nice to have a positive attitude while I'm running late for work. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Haha, <laughs> yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful. I just love watching people try to eat it. You know those people who can't eat it without falling it, uh, falling it over? I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Eating the totem pole without it falling over? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. Probably from the way it looks. Man. Well, what does it look like? You didn't really think about that, did you? Eating, <laughs> hmm, eating without it falling over. You might be able to prove your proficiency there. The totem pole at the diner, huh? We should at least go there at least. We should go there at least once and see what this is all about. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Not right now. Not with my fixed schedule. Oh, have you heard? Have you ever thought about your phone? Ever thought your phone went off when nothing actually happened? Yo, every fucking day. No lie. Every fucking day. It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. Sato, let's hear it. What is this phenomenon commonly called in English? Oh, what? Um... Okay, let's remember what she said together. So PVS, referring to when you mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Uh, phantom. Right! It's gotta start with phantom since you're, you're only imagining it. So next is the V part. That means it'd be phantom what? <laughs> phantom Vogue. Uh, vibration. Yeah, that's it. When your phone buzzes, when your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. So last is the S. So if we have phantom vibration so far. I mean, if we're calling it, if we're calling it a, a thing, I guess syndrome would be the answer, huh? This is it. Good. 
Good! The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. Again, I deal with that every day and I hate it. Yeah, I'm definitely on a roll today. Yeah, dropping my, dropping them knowledge. When I was a student, I get so worked up waiting for my ass cell to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Oh, nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious if you ask me. Mm. Did you ever get to a point where we'd be able to read each other's minds? Oh god, I don't want anyone reading my mind. My mind is a cesspool of anxiousness. I'll pass on that, thanks. Alright, who wants to hang out today? Taba wants to hang out today. Do I have a hermit? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I've used a way to hermit. I did! Guess where we're going today. Ah. Uh. It's fine. I have the money. I have over a million yen. I made bank when I was at the at Mementos a month ago. God, that was that was a month ago in the game. Anyways, uh, I'm looking for a hermit. You got a hermit? You got a hermit I confuse that that uh, that's not in a high level. No. Alrighty then. Oh no, I'm under a million yen. I gotta go to the palace at some point and, and, and get more money. Too bad it's not here. <laughs> Too bad it's not anytime soon. Oh God, where's Futawa? There she is. Hey, you wanna hang out? I know we got the palace to do and stuff, but let's hang out. I know we're in the middle of an operation. This is like the first time I could yell at you about it. Yeah, we'll we'll work on that promise list that we decided to do all of a sudden. Rehabilitation time. All right. Okie dokie. Let's get started on this promise list. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. Ooh, and I got the perfect place. <laughs> Akihabara Wars. Revenge of the Futaba. You're going to Akihabara? Well, be careful out there. Everything's a reference with you, huh? I mean, you make sense. But everything is a reference to you, huh? Hey, hey. <clears throat> hey, did you see that tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari, though. He's got a particularly pervy view on art. <gasps> uh, whoa, what's going on? There's a super limited sale at the PC section! Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! Oh, this is gonna sell out in seconds! Oh no! Wait, how did I lose Futaba? Mayday! Mayday! I'm trapped in the whole appliance kingdom! The three terabyte roar rages on! Hold on. The three terabyte war rages on outside. They're just so many people er, I don't know if I can last much longer a little bit dramatic aren't you well time to go to the appliance section ah well, that was fast there you are I I I I I I well I was about to come and find you Oh, thanks. I didn't think I was going to, I was going to see you until the end of time. But then I thought about you while I was wandering around the store and BAM! A wild Kazuma appeared. Oh, it was good to see you again. So you were, re so you're relieved. What an incredible coincidence. Me too. Hmm? hmm? Wait a tick. I just finished the promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of that three terabyte war, though. Oh, and because you brought me here. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. 
I guess that counts. Sure, I guess. You didn't freak out too much and you managed to find me no problem. So I guess that's a positive turn. All right. I think. I don't know though. I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, Kazuma. Alright All right, then, I'm gonna add another goal to my list. Being okay without you around. It might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. Phew, I'm tired. Okay, going home. <laughs> That's me every time I go out in public nowadays. I'm tired, I'm a nap. I'm gonna recharge my batteries. Hey, it's me. Thanks for your help today. So I beat the go somewhere with lots of people goal. First tried too, not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to beat being okay without you around. But at this pace, I'll clear it in no time, right? We'll do our best. Woo, I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are. I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do a little research, see if there's any other ways I can power up. <laughs> this is all kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. Ah, you're back. Oh, my phone's vibrating. Things are really getting crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This forever might this forever may be too extreme. This is a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Oh, don't scare us like that! Ain't no, no way somebody's gonna figure that out! Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. I'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones to sneak around? It don't make sense! Ryuji, we're a phantom thief. That's what we do. We're phantom crosswords! Hey, let's play, even though it's not really necessary anymore. Where's my phone? Wait, hold on, where's my phone? I have information in cheaty devices. Yes, cheaty devices. What, what puzzle is this? 23? Okay, cool. Alright, so, down. Buzzkill victim. Ah, uh, yes. Fun. The victim of Buzzkill. Yes, that, that's what it is. Uh, prayer site. Uh, uh, shrine. That's a, that's a, that, no, not you, idiot. Yeah, uh, shrine. <laughs> Yeah, and let's put the U back in fun. Alright, and what's this one? Many lack time for these. <laughs> Man, ain't that a mood. <laughs> ain't that a mood for me nowadays. <laughs> ah, it's painful. Anyways, it's, it's festival. Right? Yeah, it is festival. I had to double check. <laughs> Whew. That was easy. Uh, Tsukimi is a traditional festival for viewing the moon in the fall. There are even special turns for watching the moon during rainfall or in a new phase. When preparing a su uh, Tsukimi dango, uh, dango, dango, the proper number to stack depends on the date. If attending the Tsukimi on the 15th, stack 15 dango. If on the 12th, stack a dozen. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but guess what? I don't care. Yeah, give me some of that useless, useless knowledge. All right. We got some things to do. And by some things, I mean a singular thing here. Because I got to feed this plant. Because we, we need we need um friendliness juice. Yeah, friendliness juice. I got to raise my kindness. Sorry, I'm like low-key in real life. I'm being distracted by my dog who's having a dream. He's having a dream. All right, uh, today we're gonna go and hang out with Hifumi. Yay! Good evening. Um. But we can't rank up with her just yet, so we're gonna hang out with her. 
We're gonna invite her to Booktown. We're going we're going to Jin Jin Let's go. Um looking for a book that contains an analysis for of a certain game in Shogi. Must be ready for any opponent, no matter how strong, and to do that, I must study as much as I can. Look at all these books. It's not going to be easy to find. Yo, leave it to me, your boyfriend. I'll find you the perfect book. Ah, are you good at tracking things down? Well, then. Very well, I'll rely on you. I think we'll be successful if we work together. Rather than such search blindly, we should study the shelves and come up with a strategy. First, let's get an idea of how books are arranged here. Is it by title or by author? Let's take a good look around the store to fully understand the layout. I'd also like to find a book about shogi problems as well. I'll explain while we search. Now that if we approach this methodically, we, we will find them. I appreciate your assistance. Um. And the clerk gave me a gift. It's quite a lovely ornament. Perhaps you should, it will look nice in your room. Oh, I got a king piece. And we're definitely gonna rank up with Hifumi next time. Awesome. We found what, she, what we came for. Excellent. We're gonna beg down, get down, and beg for forgiveness. Well, the sooner to get it done, the sooner it is better for society. Blah blah blah. Oh man, this place is sold out. Faint up these merch too. Damn. All right. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. Smell the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil service is a good option. Hey, Sato. Uh, what? Why don't you try? I bet you all think the that civil civil service is all office work. But uh, the fishermen of uh, oh god. On, on. Hold on, hold on. But the fishermen of Nagar Nagara Nagaragara Nagaragara, yeah, are actual actually civil servants as well. So tell me, what sector do they belong to? Um. Wow, really? Okay. It's the Imperial Household Agency. This is it. Very good. Ho oh, ho! I'm impressed you knew that. Only the Kamamaran fishermen of Nagara Nagara Nagara. Why is this a lot? Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occup occupation. If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. No, some may say that's hereditary too. Oh man, why don't I get the feeling they're setting something up? <laughs> nice going. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm smart and use my resources very efficiently. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the, they're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval has been going through the roof. So are you trying to say that the Phantom Thieves should break into politics? Is that what you're trying to say? Yo, Cosmo for Prime Minister. Let's go. <laughs> Who wants to hang out? Everyone everyone wants to hang out. But we'll do that next time. And remember to vote. Even if it's for even if it's for the Phantom Thieves. What? what? This isn't gonna be relevant by the time this comes out. What?